today our topic is uh, the same as in previous lecture in previous lecture we have started that uh, so we have deal with some terminologies related to the motion uh, we will continue it in today lecture uh, we have study about the distance displacement and speed and velocity and today lecture I will talk about the acceleration what is acceleration acceleration is basically the change uh, rate of change of velocity mm. rate of change of velocity it means that acceleration depend upon velocity if velocity changes there will be acceleration if the rate of change of velocity is zero there will be no acceleration and also we can conclude from its definition that velocity is a vector quantity acceleration is also a vector quantity and rate of change of velocity means in magnitude and direction or both velocity can change in magnitude velocity can change in direction in both so if it change in magnitude there will be acceleration if it change in direction there will be acceleration if in both there will be acceleration velocity is uh, acceleration is represented by a dash it means that it is a vector quantity and its unit is meter per second square <laughs> from <coughs> mathematically acceleration is the change in velocity and divided by time taken change in velocity we can write it delta v dash uh, divided by t uh, we can also say that tf minus vi divided by t is the final velocity it is the initial velocity so the change in velocity divided by time will give us acceleration it is the mathematical equation uh, we will uh, solve some example on this equation uh, uniform acceleration what will be the uniform acceleration in uniform acceleration there will be change in velocity but the change will be uniform equal change in velocity in equal interval of time it means that the change in velocity will be uniform will be constant change in velocity will be constant not the velocity so if there is a change in velocity and that change is constant is uniform then the acceleration will also be a uniform uh, now talk about the direction of the acceleration <coughs> if if velocity of the body is increasing it means that the change is positive positive acceleration will be given to us if the change in velocity is positive it means that the velocity is increases then the direction of the acceleration will be the same as the direction of the velocity it will be in the direction of the velocity the acceleration will be in direction of velocity if the velocity is increasing the magnitude of the velocity is increasing and also acceleration will be in opposite direction to the velocity if the velocity is decreasing also means that and if velocity is decreasing the uh, the acceleration will be uh, also uh, uh, negative acceleration negative acceleration or deceleration or retardation these three terms uh, are the same thing so this is the <coughs> some discussion about the acceleration uh, now we will solve uh, one example on acceleration and uh, remaining example uh, will be your homework uh, so an example 
we say that uh, a call start from wrist vi is equal to 0 because it start from wrist at velocity becomes 20 meter per second in 8 second at velocity it means that if vi is 0 then vf will be equal to the 20 meter per second 8 second means time is given is 8 second find its acceleration you have to write first given data given data will be taken from the statement you can also include some assumptions uh, here assumption is uh, that the direction of the body uh, of the object is no, doesn't change uh, we have uh, the second step is acceleration the third step uh, uh, how, what you have to find out uh, in this case we have to find out acceleration the third stage is solution uh, means we have to solve it uh, with proper for, for formulas this is the proper method of numerical questions uh, so uh, by the definition of the acceleration acceleration is the change in velocity and the time uh, we have uh, these three values v f v i and t we have to float out uh, in this equation 20 meter per second 0 and 8 meter per second it will give us 20 divided by 8 meter per second square meter per second in second this is 0 portion so 2.5 meter per second square uh, this is the proper method of how to solve this uh, numerical questions uh, related to the acceleration uh, distance displacement velocity speed and uh, you have to do uh, some homework um, example number 2.5 that is your homework uh, please follow the instruction and do it. Thank you.